Hi there, my name is Garrett Wayne Clark and this is my competitor resource aspiration assignment. As a media communicator, I'm going to be given and being having the wonderful opportunity of being clients throughout all over. I want to be able to ensure that I create and be able to boost their personal brand and to craft something that fits their needs. For this assignment, I was given one client to work with and also to be able to evaluate three potential competitors in their website. The goal for this assignment is to be able to compare, contrast, and be able to work with and study the competitors in order to help better promote and push my client's needs. The client that I'll be having the wonderful opportunity of working with is Real Deals Taco located in San Diego, California. Just a little background story about this company. It starts and originates in San Diego where two people lifelong friends had a passion for seafood, surfing, and most importantly, locally and helping to boost their community. Real Deals Tacos audience are men and women between the ages of 15 and 50 who, who have a passion for seafood and tacos and love local source cuisines nearby. The inquired skills and assets that are needed through my client are to be able to build and have a website platform, a strong social media presence, and a good strategy that will be able to help boost the flow and their presence on social media. The three competitors that I found very similar to my client out there are Jimmy Hula's, Wahoo's, and SoCal Fish Taco Company which all is known and specialized for selling fish tacos throughout various areas of the United States. After studying and going over some of the competitors' websites and the potential and aesthetics and logos they carry, I wanted to ask and go over the following questions in which is very important when I see in this following project. When it comes down to what didn't work and what did work out, I want to say that um, what first worked out is that I admired and loved how all the fish taco joints all maintained a novical and kind of very surfer-like atmosphere. It had a very calm and kind of relaxing, a kind of vibe of the kind of joint in which that you wanted to go out and you wanted to check out like right then and there. One of the things that really didn't work out when it comes down to viewing these websites was for Jimmy Hula's was the picture and text in the background. It was hard to read and sometimes it just wouldn't, it just was kind of, it was just scrolling over hard to read. So it didn't really work out. When it came down to so-called Fish Tacos Company, um, the website was really good, but the only problem I kind of thought that could have been a little bit better is the spacing and alignment of the website. Having the two boxes, okay, it's cool, but I think having it on opposite, on opposite sides, yeah, it allowed more room for the picture to see through, but I think it could have been aligned a little bit more better in which would have showed the graphic more. Um, Wahoo's Tacos, um, the website was fine, um, very vivid, very, um, a lot going on there, but the only thing that kind of really bothered, bugged me the most was it was a lot of navigation and redirecting. Uniqueness, uniqueness. One of the things, and all, actually, you know what, not even one of the things, all of the things I like about all this website is that, again, they were really, really different. They were extremely different. They had the same theme, but way different designs and just very interesting, like, just very interesting graphics for one. The common keywords that came up a lot in these particular posts on their social media presence of these competitors was mainly just the four hashtags that they all pretty much um, used. Um, fish tacos, best fish tacos, best tacos ever, and taco vibes. What I liked about the Wahoo's um, website was having the classic logo. The classic logo gives it a very 
kind of be kind of old fashioned feel. Easy navigation and scrolling, good alignment, had no trouble navigating through the page and had a very interesting text and texture applied to their website. Social Fish Company, it had a very friendly kind of opening kind of uh, feel to it. And it starts off with a graphic of a sunset. It gave it a very open kind of very surfer like feel, friendly feel. Jimmy Hulis had a very upbeat and colorful website. Um, very simple color choice. Again, um, sticking with the cooler colors, um, blue and white, security kind of color. Gave it a really ocean kind of feel. So kind of a stained, kind of old kind of a look to it with the background texture. I also like how the pictures are really, um, they're texturized and they're different. Um, they have like a little bit more like motive kind of like feeling to it. Um, it was easy to navigate through it, um, the website. Um, it had really nice text, really e big, easy, bold, point A to point B, and very simple. It wasn't busy. Um, everything seemed to fit well. And last but not least, going over what is the destination? Where are we headed from here? So again, after reviewing all the content and competitor websites, I will say that um, Real Steel Taco Company will definitely be trying to go out and wa I wanted to kind of go in a way different direction. And the only thing I kind of want to take away from this is that I want to keep the theme. I want to keep the theme similar, but at the same time, I also want to switch it up and make it more unique. So instead of just going with the typical kind of surfer icons and logos, I want to be able to give it a more modern feel, but also acknowledge and also complement the website and the logo and the company by giving that. So again, the overall destination would have a strong, being able to have a strong media presence, like um, having that high quality content being pushed out there and having a very nice visual and aesthetic that matches will be able to set the tone and be able to give it a really good look. My name is Yara Wayne Clark. Uh, my name is Garrett Wayne Clark, and this is, once again, my competitor research exploration assignment.